I'd like to start by defining the term pro pilot first, okay? Who is a drone pro pilot? And I'm not talking about FPV drones, just your regular DJI drone pilots. Let's talk about what doesn't make you a drone pilot first. If you've been flying for a long time and you've gone through different generation of drones, I hate to break it to you, my friend. This is not enough to make you a pro drone pilot. If you have a drone license and you know all the safety rules of flying your drone and you can give a lecture on all drone categories, it does not make you a pro pilot. If you know every technical aspect of your drone, its buttons, controller settings, and you've tested the range of your drone and you know how long each battery holds and how many satellites you need before you fly, my friend, this does not make you a drone pilot. Now you're probably like, Sean, are you out of your mind? I know and I have all the things you just listed and people call me a pro pilot all the time. How dare you? What makes you think that you're a pro pilot? Well, I don't claim to be a pro pilot, but I'm learning as I go along about it myself. And I did some research and I finally come to a definition of what a pro pilot, a pro drone pilot should really be. And I'm making this video and I'm gonna share that information with you. So calm down and hear me out, all right? In order to be a pro drone pilot, first you gotta kinda have all the things that I talked about just now. But it's not enough, fam. All right? What makes a pro drone pilot? Well, let's ask this question first. Why do you fly a drone? What is the purpose of you going out and spending one to $5,000 on a flying camera? We gotta ask ourselves this question. Do you use a drone as a toy or a gadget to fulfill your flying habits or needs? Or your intent is to fly and capture cinematic footage. If you just like to fly, then I recommend you to try FPV because believe me when I tell you this, the experience is not even comparable. But if your answer is the second option, which is to create cinematic aerial footage, which in my opinion is the right answer, but it's okay if you disagree with me, that's why I leave the comment sections open. The second option is the right answer because this is a gadget where the camera is the most important part of this device. And it's the parts that gets the most attention and the upgrades when a new version is about to be released. So it's safe to say that this is a gadget to create art. Can we all agree on that? If you agree with me, might as well go ahead and hit that like button. So let's assume you all agree with me when I say this is a tool to create art with. If so, then you gotta ask yourself, what have you done with this tool? Have you created something special with it? Have you created something that puts goosebumps on people's skin? I wanna give you the definition of a pro pilot in my opinion. To me, a pro pilot is an artist, a photographer, filmmaker who pushes the limits of filmmaking and photography and drives to be original and creative with his or her tool, which in this case, is a drone. Someone who flies with an intent every single time to capture something that hasn't been captured before. A shot when you bring home and you put some music on it, it makes you want to go to that place and create something of your own. A shot that will stay in people's mind for a long time. If you haven't created such art yet with your drone, if you haven't put them goosebumps on somebody's forearm or the back of their necks, my friend, it is hard to call your drone pilot. If you're wearing your orange dress right now and you're holding a couple of cones about to set your takeoff parameter and you're disagreeing with me right now, I suggest you put that cone down and come and have a seat because I have some important information for you. This video is only here to help. So let's go over some of the key points that will make you a pro drone pilot, in my opinion. If you want to be a pro pilot, you need to familiarize yourself with the art of composition. That's right. You need to develop an eye for photography if you haven't already, guys. This is very important. You have to pay attention to the position of the elements inside your frame at all times when you're flying. Pay attention to those leading lines, get to know the rule of thirds, keep an eye out for the negative space, watch out for symmetries and patterns to help you create a more appealing and a cinematic shot. There are many good YouTube videos going deep on this topic. I will leave those links for you in the description so you can go ahead and educate yourself on the art of composition. A pro pilot always flies in manual settings. Listen, if you fly your drone with camera settings set to auto, don't call me your friend. You know, we can say hi to me when we see each other on the streets, but we will never fly together. Mark my words, we will never fly together until you learn to fly with manual camera settings. Now, why do I say that? Three things that you should always have in control. Number one is your what? ISO. Is your ISO. You're flying outside, the weather constantly changes, so are the colors and the temperature of your image. And if you don't have control of that, then that equals the catastrophe. So always manually set your white balance before you press record, my friend. Manual shutter speed. If you keep that thing on auto, this is what happens. You're in a bright scenario. In order to get the right exposure, the drone will boost up the shutter speed so high that every movement 
in your shot will be super sharp. At some point you will get some flickering and that is something that a pro pilot just doesn't do. That brings us to our next point, which is using ND filters. I made a video talking about this and I show a side by side comparison of scenes shot with and without ND filters. Make sure to check that video out. Remember having natural motion blur in your shot is essential to achieve that cinematic look. So if you want that pro status and you don't have a box of ND filters in your drone bags, I suggest you go ahead and get you some. My next tip to help you go pro is knowing when to fly. If there's one thing I'm really good at when flying drones is choosing the right moment to fly. I think this step is crucial because there is a huge difference between filming something at different times of the day. For example, when I was filming the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, I wanted to wait for the perfect time, which was when the sun has already set and it's dark enough for the mosque's beautiful lights to glow. And it had to be before it is pitch black so I can have some information in my shadows. And this was a very short window, so you have to have everything set such as camera settings and you have to get in and out as quick as you can. Another step to help you become a pro pilot is planning before flying. You need to have a vision of what you want to film and what you want to accomplish on that day specifically. Another example of the Istanbul video, I think one of the elements that made it special according to you guys' comments was that transition at the beginning of the video. And it's things like that that help a video kind of stand out and it shows the viewer that you put some thought into your work and it means you went out of your way to please them and a the viewer always appreciate that. When I was in Istanbul filming, I kept thinking of a way to transition from one shot to another and just having that thought in the back of my head the whole time kind of forced me to think harder of ways to transition. There were days that nothing really came to my mind, but believe me, you will eventually come up with something that will make your video stand out. But if you just show up unplanned, and I'm not saying you won't have any success, but we are trying to achieve something special here. So have something in the back of your mind that will make you think harder when you're filming. The next one I want to talk about might not be ideal for all of you, but it is an essential part of my creative process. It is called music. That's right. Before I take my drone out to start a project, I always have some sort of an idea of what the music of that project is going to be. Because music is the soul of every project and I usually choose a few tracks to listen to them the night before the shoot. And I even put them on my airports when I have my drone up in the air because it makes a huge difference for me and it gets my creative juices flowing. And you're probably asking, Sean, where do you get your music from? As you've asked me that question many times in the past in the comment sections before. Well, this question of yours brings us to this video's sponsor, epidemic sound. You know, as someone who makes videos for YouTube, I need music that allows me to get monetized. And this really limits me as a creator. I've tried different websites and finally I was introduced to epidemic sound by watching Peter McKenna videos and I fell in love with their collection and everything you've heard on my channel for the past year come from epidemic sound. And just recently they actually reached out to me to be an ambassador and I couldn't be more happier to present you something that I've been using myself. Epidemic Sound has over 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects. They've categorized their music into genres, moods and themes and a lot of different playlists which saves you a lot of time finding the right music. And I've teamed up with Epidemic Sound to bring you a limited exclusive offer that you're not going to believe. If you sign up annually to the personal plan using my code ALAMI50, you will get 50% off. That's right. You heard it. 50% off. Even I don't have that discount on my current plan right now. This is only for a limited time. So make sure to click the link in my description and use the code at checkout. And what makes this even greater is that you have 30 days to change your mind because you receive a free one month trial. And listen to this. Any videos you use during this trial will remain safe and protected even if you cancel your subscription. To me, that's a no brainer. If you create videos, and you want great music and you want monetization. Sign up right now because you can cancel later. Now on to the next point, which is our last point, and it's being a responsible pilot. That's right. And by that, I mean, don't fly where you're not supposed to. I myself, am guilty of doing that from time to time to get that perfect shot that I need, but I'm putting myself into a risk of having to deal with the police and authorities, and it just makes this whole great fun experience a little bit foggy. So I try to avoid that as much as you can. And if you fly with a drone that weighs more than 250 grams, make sure you get a license and you follow all the rules of that place that you're flying. Even some of these rules don't make any sense. For example, in Germany, you're not allowed to fly over the Rhine. That doesn't make any sense, but I don't fly over it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you haven't got a chance to have a look at my DJI Mini 3 Pro LUTs, they're currently on sale. Make sure you check them out. If you found this video useful, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for me if you like to see more content like this. Until we see each other next time, fly safe and fly responsible. Peace.